Hey guys, Draws of Sharp Reviews here, and so then we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars, the Black Series, the Bad Batch, Echo. So, here he is, and as you can see, he's all in his Bad Batch glory. <laughs> so, yeah, so I do apologize if I haven't done a Black Series review in like almost six months now, because I think the last time I did one was for the Wrecker review, and that was like late December, that was like a couple days before uh, Christmas, so yeah, it's been that long, so I do apologize for that, um, plan to get a bit more into doing uh, a bit more Black Series stuff, even Mar Marvel Legends, I haven't done that stuff as much lately, because I've had so much uh, Transformers related stuff to review, but now that I've pretty much gotten a lot out of the way, uh, I can spend more time doing a lot of those non-transformer stuff, but, um, yeah, and also, uh, yeah, I've been really waiting for this guy and Omega to come, like, for, like, ever since I got hold of, you know, the previous four, and I guess five members of Bad Batch, because, obviously, there's the main four, and then there's also that Imperial, uh, Crosshair, which I still have to review, uh, don't worry, guys, I'll get to that, um, it's not that much different, or, yeah, it kind of is a bit different from the, uh, uh, the Bad Batch crosshair, but nonetheless, I'll still review it, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, here's Echo, and like I said before, yeah, I've been waiting for this guy, because it's like, okay, we got the original four members of the Bad Batch, because if you guys don't know, uh, or, well, I'll say that a bit, but, like, you know, he, he joined the Bad Batch, but, um, like, he, he wasn't a part of it at first, but, um, but, yeah, so, yeah, I was quite anticip anticipating him, because, like, okay, we got the the original four, it's like, but where, where's where's Echo, because, I mean, he's in, like, the series with them, and, yeah, uh, but we still haven't got him, but now, we got him, and as well as Omega, so, um, so that's pretty cool, so, yeah, anyways, I was just gonna say, yeah, uh, Echo, like, either him or Wrecker, I think Echo might have to be my favorite of the Bad Batch, which is another reason why I've been highly anticipating this figure, um, and yeah, because, uh, and here's that concept I was, like, gonna say before, but decided to save until now. The reason, like, why I think he might be my favorite is because I like the whole concept of, like, he was, like, uh, originally, like, before he became part of the Bad Batch, or otherwise, when I was Clone Force 99, he, he was, like, uh, on, he was just a, you know, regular clone and stuff like that, but then, you know, he got killed, but then was brought back to life with a device, which you will see. Uh, once I remove his helmet, but, um, and I basically sort of brought him back to life, but it made him look a little odd, rather odd, um, but, again, you will see, um, but, yeah, and then, of course, eventually, he was recruited by the Bad Batch, and, like, towards the end of Clone Wars, because, you know, they felt like he got along with them pretty well after, you know, his whole, uh, death, uh, sort of thing, and then brought back to, like, like, it, it was, it made him, like, a little rather kind of odd, and they kind of made him fit in a bit more with the Bad Batch, which he felt was like, all right, you kind of belong there now. Because, uh, if you don't know, the Bad Batch, they are clones, but they have, like, sort of, like, defects, so, like, they, like, uh, yeah, they, you, you, if, if you watch a series, you'll, you'll, you'll know, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, let's take a look here at Echo, after all my, uh, nerdy blabbering, <laughs> But, um, as you can see, it looks really cool. And, of course, he's got that nice helmet. And then, of course, he's got his cool uh, little skull detail on the chest. And a, lot, a lot of nice detail. And even some scratched up. And, looks, you know, just even molded it in, too. Like, man, they didn't have to do that, but they did. These, uh, these desires are nailing it. And yeah, overall, really nice detail on the back. Doesn't even lack either. <laughs> Except for maybe the back of the legs, but I mean, they're, they're not really supposed to have much paint. Um, but yeah, like overall, really, really nice. Now for the articulation of this guy, his head is on a double ball joint. It's One is on his actual head and one is like on the neck, if you can see, that kind of moves too. Um, so it allows for, like, additional movements. So I can look down this far, he can look up this far, uh, really focus better on that. There we go. 
and then uh, you can look side to side and you know, I can kind of move around a bit there so as always nice movement uh, his arms can move a full 180 degrees you can move out uh, unfortunately only about that far due to the shoulder pad or if you kind of move it up then you can get this much but it kind of ruins that uh, little shoulder pad so I wouldn't recommend doing it um it does have rotation I guess bicep rotation but it's not on the biceps as you can see um, yeah he does have elbow movement for his robot arm and for his regular arm and yeah it goes up this far for that arm and then up this far for the robot arm uh, unfortunately no wrist rotation right here because that's just a little drill but he does have wrist rotation on his actual arm right here for the hand uh, and he does have ab crunch and a ball joint in the waist and I think that's the only kind of waist moving you get. <laughs> it's not really in the waist. The legs, oh my. It's got so much articulation. His legs can kick up this far, uh, unfortunately. Or actually, then I can move it back at least that far, but unfortunately, because of this, kind of gets in the way. And he can't really move his legs out that far. I mean, oh man, that popped his backpack pop off, uh, popped off, but um. And yeah, unfortunately, because of that, like, I mean, you still get some good movement, but it's not like that much. Uh, he does have thigh rotation, his knees do bend about that far, his feet move back and forth, and he does have ankle pivots, so that's nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for their articulation. Man, he is definitely loaded. Um, yeah, that's what I really like about these Black Series figures as well. They, they just nail it. With the articulation, no, no question, no debate, no nothing, just, mm. but, um, yeah, so, anyways, that's pretty much it for that, now, for the, except, or actually, first, let's, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we could say accessories, but, uh, starting off, uh, we can remove his helmet, but what's interesting about this guy's helmet is that you have to, as you can see, it's designed a bit differently compared to the other members of the Bad Batch and any other kind of clone helmet in general. You just have to kind of move it a bit forward and then it just kind of moves off, kind of just towards forward. So you can't just move it up. No, it just kind of goes out like that. But it has a nice secure locking mechanism, so that's pretty nice. And you're supposed to do it, like kind of seal in like that, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so now I got a kind of odd looking helmet, but um, still pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And, yeah, so, anyways, uh, for his actual head sculpts, let's take a look. <clears throat> and yeah, as I was saying before, yeah, his, he's got a rather odd kind of look here because, like I said before, he was killed, but a machine was put into like his brain, or what was of his brain, and um, kind of, you know, made him alive again in sorts, but unfortunately it's not their blood, so as you can see, he's uh, kind of pale, <laughs> that's that's why he looks a little bit more pale than, you know, my skin or something, because, yeah, he's basically a walking corpse, but, uh, I mean, he, at least he's got personality, thanks to those little machines they put on him, and that was basically the reason why he joined the Bad Batch, because, you know, again, he wasn't just a normal clone anymore, so that's, that's why I gotta say he's probably my favorite of, uh, Bad Batch. He's got a cool backstory. Now, of course, he got a nice, very nice looking uh, head sculpt details, like the faux realistic. Like, even though this like is based on an animated series, it just looks stunning how much detail they put into this. So, yeah. Now, anyways, for the other accessories, he does have his backpack right here, and it's got like little thruster details molded onto it. Uh, here, I'll just reattach his helmet. It's kind of more like a mask, if anything, because <laughs> it just goes onto his face, but... Yeah. Um, come on, and... It basically has to hug his face. <laughs> no, that, that's that's pretty much the whole moral of the story. It's just, he's He's got a helmet, but it, it, hugs, it hugs his face. Okay, I'm trying to close that all up, but... There we go. And that's how you see a lot, <laughs> if, if you saw it. Um, but yeah, and for the rest of the accessories that we have not seen yet, uh, it does come with this, like, little claw thing right here. So, kind of looks like a 
it's like little legs is going do 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 do. But um, yeah, it's thingy out on the series and it attaches into his robot arm like so. It just kind of just goes in and, and stays in nice and tightly. It has to go up to there about there and then you can have it in there. So it's not just like that one little stick. No, but it's uh, it's got something to actually uh, attack enemies with. And of course, as always, he does come with his little pistol here, and you can hold that in his hand, and you can also put it in his holster right here, so, uh, yeah, but I'll just put it in his hand for now, and this is a bit tricky to do, <laughs> you gotta squeeze in, come on, here, here, I'll, uh, do this off camera, okay, so now there we have that, um, so yeah, now, once you got that, there is with those accessories, let's. They look pretty, pretty cool. I mean, they're not. There's not like tons of accessories of this guy compared to like, you know, Tech Earth or like even Hunter or uh, Riker. Uh, Crosshair doesn't have much. He just has pistol, but then he also has giant sniper rifle. But either way, pretty cool. I do again. I really do like this little uh, kind of claw accessory here. That's pretty nice. But anyways, now for the comparisons. Uh. Bring in, I guess, all the rest of the Bad Batch. So we got Wrecker, we got Tech, and we got the pre Imperial Crosshair um, before he went basically to the dark side. Not really, he, it was just that ship activated in him. Um, up here. I won't spoil too much though, because I'm not sure if everyone's seen the series. I gotta strain them out. Okay, um, okay, he's not standing, so I'll just have him lean back here. And here's with the team leader, Gil Hunter. So yeah, and they all look great together. It's good to finally have this team complete. Uh, of course, you know it's not quite complete because we gotta have. Omega as well, because, you know, she kind of partner, but this is, like, the official Bad Batch uh, members. Well, I mean, he was a member, but, um, yeah. And, yeah, it's really cool to have all of them in one. Unfortunately, though, the, uh, the Season 2 trailer recently dropped, and, well, they're not using these colors anymore, so it's like, oh, come on, now that we've finally completed, uh, all the members of the Bad Batch, now, now, now they're probably gonna have to make new ones for the, uh, Season 2 outfits, because they have, like, orange, blue, yellow, stuff like that, um, so, yeah, but they, they, they still look nice, so, like, I, I'm not saying they look bad or anything, they look pretty nice, colorful, but it's, like, you, you just, <laughs> it's, like, oh, come on, we just completed this, so, either way, uh, pretty cool, uh, nice to have the whole team now, so, there you guys have my review for the Star Wars, the box series, the Bad Batch, Echo, and yeah, I gotta say, he's actually, you know, a pretty solid figure, uh, just as good as, you know, the previous members of Bad Batch have gone. So glad that they, you know, of course, they complete, you know, the Bad Batch, like, at least from Season 1 and the final season of Clone Wars, but, um, because, you know, obviously, you know, now Season 2, uh, yeah, uh, we don't have Crosshair with them anymore, and then, of course, uh, they got different colored outfits. They look nice again, but still, it's, just, it's like, ah, no, 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 we gotta get those, but, um, yeah, but either way, um, yeah, very nice, very nice figure, well done, the Hasbro Black Series team, like, they, they, they nail it with these, like, the scratch detail, you know, the scuffing, it, it just looks great, the accessories, pretty nice, uh, especially do like that, you know, little clothing right here, um, yeah, just overall, very nice, and the articulation, uh, we can't ignore that, like, man, I think that was, like, one of the best, uh, I think I've seen on the Black Series figure, because it's like, whew. But, um, yeah, so overall, pretty solid figure, so. Yeah, but anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more. And, yeah, so. And comment down below what you guys think of this figure, so. Anyways, guys, as always, till all, R1.